Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video, and welcome back to the to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a crouching and sprinting uh, char character controller using the Unity 3D game engine. So to get started, um, if you watched the previous video, you will already be at this point, but we are going to be using the movement um, project that we made in the last tutorial. Uh, if you don't have that, uh, go watch the other video, make it yourself, or there will be a GitHub link to that project in the video description. But with all that out of the way, let's get right into the actual game game development. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your movement script in Visual Studio. Let that boot up real quick. Alright, and now that we have our movement script loaded up here, um, what we are going to do is we're going to make the sprinting first. So you want to uh, make two new variables under your current vel y variable. I want to do public bool is sprinting. Do not open the Windows menu. Uh, we're just going to set that to false for now. And then public float sprinting multiplier. Multiplier. And this will be the amount of um, speed increase that we multiply our speed when we are jumping. So next thing you want to do after making those two variables, you want to scroll down to the bottom of your script and you want to check if the player is holding down the shift key. So we are going to do that after the jumping. If input dot get key is, uh, I think it's, we're just going to do key code dot left shift. Then is sprinting equals true. And if we are not holding down said key, we're just going to do is sprinting equals false, like so. And what we're going to do now is that um, we're then going to do if is sprinting is spr I can't spell is sprinting is equal to true, then movement times equals sprint multiplier. And make sure you sprint is sprinting correctly. So you should get something that looks like this. Um, after the movement line, you get if is sprinting is, is equal to true, movement times equals sprinting multiplier. And that will make our character move um, how, however many times faster we set the sprinting multiplier is uh, whenever we sprint. So that's pretty, pretty cool. We can go into Unity here and test it. So let's script recompile. Go. We're going to go under our player object, go into the inspector, and we are going to go to movement script, and we're just going to set the sprinting multiplier to 2 for now, so we should move double as fast whenever we hold down the left shift key. You see, we can move normally, and you can see that we speed up whenever we hold down the shift key. Now I can make this uh, even faster if I set the sprinting multiplier to 5, you will see that I move 5 times as fast anytime I hold down the left shift key. So that is pretty, pretty cool, and it works quite well. All right, so the next thing we need to add is the crouching part, and that will be very quite easy. So um, in our movement script, we already have the camera controller value. So what we need to just do is add one more variable, and it's going to be public float, public float crouching height. And what this will be is the offset between our normal standing height and our crouching height. So we will just set this to crouching height. I'm just going to do 1.25. And then what what we can do here is make sure to add, add a semicolon. We're going to scroll down into our update function. And if we are crouching, then controller.height equals crouching height. And then if we are not crouching, we're going to um, public float standing height so we're going to create a new variable um, name it public float standing height scroll back down to the update function um, and what we're going to do is if we are not crouching controller dot height equals standing height so if we go and back up to the top of the script we created a new variable name it crouching height uh, and we're going to also create a new variable and name it standing height and I think what we have right now is 1.8 F so basically when we're standing we're going to be this high and when we are crouching we're going to be this high 
and if we scroll back down into the update function um, we will see that if we are crouching we're going to be at the crouching height which is just done by controller.height and then if we are not crouching which is in this else statement uh, our crouching height will be our standing height because we are not uh, going to be crouching so if we go back into the play mode here we can test this out actually before we test that out we want to make sure to set our crouching and uh, standing height which i already did in the code but if you did not make sure to set them right now in the inspector panel so the next thing you want to do is you want to hit the hit play mode and you'll see that when we sprint we can still sprint just fine that's pretty pretty cool and now if i just get in frame again you can see when we crouch our height goes down and you can see that when we uh, stop pressing crouch we go back up which is really really cool and it works just fine so that is it for this video um and yeah hope you hope this helped you um hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe if you have any other t tutorial ideas make sure to comment them down below i would love to know what you guys would want me to make but as always i'll, I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye